Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I have a little bit of a different style video for you. I am sharing a delicious crock pot recipe that you will absolutely love. I am sharing tons of cleaning motivation from cleaning my kitchen to vacuuming to doing all the things. And I'm also sharing a delicious dessert recipe you don't want to miss. So let's start by making my bed because this is something I do every day. It just starts my day off on the right foot. Then we head downstairs and I feed all three of my little ones. We have been letting them have this special Halloween cereal and guess who loves it the most? This little guy. After breakfast, I have the kids set up with a couple school assignments. I like to take a few minutes to get ready and this is just part of my morning routine that kind of gets my day started. If I get ready, I feel like I can get so much more accomplished. Good morning everyone! Um, we are mostly ready for the day. This is how our mornings go. Uh, it's try and get dressed and get breakfast done and then um, the rest of the day kind of just falls in place. So kids have had breakfast, they've done a couple things for school, um, but I have to get their school like paperwork out on the table ready to go. And then I've been sipping on some water and then I've been trying to meal plan this week. I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. So tonight I'm making a, it's called like a crack chicken and rice um, crock pot recipe. So I'm gonna take you guys along for that. And I have to show you my new crock pot. My husband got this for me um, from Target. I love it. It's like a matte white. And our last crock pot still works. It's a little bit bigger and we're gonna hang on to it. Um, but it was like a manual, so I've never had an electric one. And we've had that one for over 10 years. It still works, but look how pretty this is. And then also today I'm gonna be sharing a recipe for pumpkin. Um, it's kind of like a cake with a streusel topping. It's so good. So I'm gonna take you guys along for that and share two really fun fall recipes. But before we do that, coffee. Take me back to when we were kids and didn't care if we were acting stupid because all we had was us. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Because honestly, I don't have my time to waste I'm trying to come back to you Because now I see We were meant to be Alright, so just to show you guys what I put in my coffee I very rarely drink hot coffee um, Even though I live in New England and it is freezing I am an iced coffee kind of girl But, but it is cold today So I just have caramel brewed coffee and then I really like the skinny syrups. This one is vanilla. And I just put a little bit of this. These are pretty concentrated. Maybe like a tablespoon. And then I add almond milk. This is vanilla unsweetened. I need a spoon. But to make it kind of fun, I like to add a little bit of whipped cream. This is just the fat-free ready whip, um, and it also makes my coffee really creamy without adding um, creamer. And then for fun, I like to add a little bit of sugar-free caramel syrup if I'm using the caramel coffee. And I cannot do this one-handed. So there you go. There's my morning coffee. This is so good. Um, and this is the pick-me-up I need today. Now to finish up school. So to, to keep this kid contained, give him his little second breakfast, snack, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll go through their kind of curriculum from their teachers. We do some reading in the morning and um, 
they'll watch a little bit of TV in the morning, but this is set up every single day for us, which is nice. Um, and then the kids go to school in the afternoon. Now, while my kids were doing their schoolwork with me in the same room, um, I was getting dinner started in the crock pot. So first step, this is totally unnecessary. If you have canned cream of chicken soup, you can go ahead and use that. But I did not, so I was making cream of chicken soup from scratch. I will leave the recipe that I used down below in the description box. It works awesome. I've used it a bunch of different times and you can kind of tailor it to your taste. The soup only takes a few minutes to put together, so once that is ready, the rest of the ingredients just get dumped in the crock pot. It is super easy and super fast to put together. I chopped up one pound of cooked bacon, and then you need ranch seasoning, milk, your cream of chicken soup, chicken, bacon, and rice. You also need some shredded cheese. You can use whatever you have on hand. I have my chicken in my crock pot. I used about two pounds. My one pound of bacon, two cups of milk, one cup of rice, and then the equivalent of a ranch packet. So that's just about two tablespoons. You can add a little bit more if you like it to be a little more flavorful. And then watch me make a mess with this cheese. Watching this back, I was not impressed with myself. but. I gave the chicken a little bit of a stir and then really you just want everything to just get in the crock pot and it, as it cooks it all combines. So we did about two cups of cheese and then the equivalent of two cans of cream of chicken soup. Then you just pop the lid on and then I let this cook for eight hours. The recipe says about five but wait till you see what it looks like at the end. Now that dinner is prepped and cooking, I was cleaning up my little guy and I just take the Dyson to him before I unstrap him. It is the easiest way to clean up his disasters. And here he is with his little cute shark slippers we found him. It's my little helper in the kitchen lately. He loves to be by my side. Next, I got into my kitchen to clean it up. I'm storing the rest of the cream of chicken soup in a mason jar in my refrigerator. It will keep for a couple days and you can use it for other recipes. I just want to take a minute and say thank you for being here and thank you for watching my video whether you are new or whether you have been around for a while. I know that your time is valuable so when you are here with me watching one of my videos my goal is to provide you with fun, easy, delicious recipes, meal inspiration, hauls that maybe will give you some food ideas, and incorporating some cleaning motivation because I don't know about you but sometimes I need some cleaning motivation to get my list of stuff done so hopefully that is what you get out of today's video you know that I'm a keep it cool with you I feel like breaking rules on the edge looking out with no parachute
With my kids doing a hybrid school program, our mornings are crazy. We do school, breakfast, school, lunch, we wrap everything up and then we all pile in the car and go drop off. We have backpacks, we have sweatshirts, we have shoes. After a couple hours of complete chaos in the morning, we do breakfast, we do school, we do lunch, we wrap everything up, and now we are off to school. And I'll see you guys when I get back with that really delicious, um, with that really delicious pumpkin recipe. All right, we are home, and I have all of this that we picked up last night and a pickup order from Target to put away. So let's go put it away. My two big kids are at school um, just for a couple hours. My little guy just went down for a nap. And this is the time of day where I get stuff done. I usually make a list and whether it's in my head or on a piece of paper and I just go to town because it's uninterrupted time. I can listen to music and kind of chill out and just get tons of stuff done so I can spend time with my kids when they're here. So I have a recipe that I want to make for like a snack slash dessert. It's um, very fallish. It's a pumpkin bread and it has like this delicious streusel topping and it looks delicious. So I found it on Pinterest. So I will have this recipe and the crock pot recipe linked below in the description box. But I, what I do is I like to screenshot um, the recipe. So that's what I have here. So I'm gonna make a quick list of what I wanna get done. Um, I have a minimum of an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, uh, until the little guy wakes up. So, let's go. So here's my quick to-do list. Um, I want to put together that pumpkin bread and put it in the oven. Um, I have dishes because lunch happened. And then I ran the dishwasher so I have to empty that. I wanna wipe down the counters in here, um, clean off the kitchen table, fold laundry, prep broccoli for dinner, and then get all my son's soccer gear ready. And then if I'm feeling really ambitious, I'm gonna try to vacuum but we'll see. So, let's get into it. For the pumpkin bread, I started mixing all my dry ingredients. It's three and a third cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, and then ground cinnamon, and the recipe calls for four different spices, being nutmeg, cloves, allspice, and ginger. All of that is in pumpkin pie spice, so that is what I used. And in a separate bowl, you want to add your wet ingredients, which consists of two cups of granulated sugar, one half cup of brown sugar, 
one cup of vegetable oil, four eggs, a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, and make sure it is just pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, two thirds of a cup of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Rise from the ashes. And if you're wondering what this tool is that I'm using to mix with, it's called a dough hook. And it is one of my new favorite kitchen tools. It works amazing for pancakes, waffles, batters, you name it. It works amazing. I can't believe I've never had one of these before. Once you combine your dry and wet ingredients, then it's time to prepare your bread pans. So I'm using two loaf pans. I sprayed it really generously with vegetable oil. And then I like to line my pans with parchment paper. And these parchment paper sheets that I buy, if you cut them right down the middle, they fit perfectly into your loaf pan. This is what they look like. This recipe makes two pretty big loaves of this pumpkin bread. I think you could even get away with doing three. So ne the next step is to put together our streusel or crumb topping. And this is what makes this bread as good as it is. So the recipe calls for one stick of butter and you want it to be cold and cubed. So leave it in the refrigerator just until you need it. One half cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This topping is what makes this bread over the top delicious. Then I just use a pastry cutter, um, you can also use a whisk for this and just break up the butter into the sugar and flour mixture. And the recipe does not call for this, but I add a pinch of salt to my crumb topping. That's a trick that my grandmother taught me and it makes all the difference. Then you just want to take your topping and sprinkle it right over the top of your batter. And it's going to look like a lot, but once it bakes up, it is just the perfect amount. These are going to cook in the oven at 350 degrees, anywhere from 55 to 65 minutes. And don't be like me and leave your cast iron skillets in your oven while it's preheating. It smells so good in here. That pumpkin bread, I'm excited to try it. However, it's such a mess. Um, so I'm gonna clean up all the lunch dishes, empty the dishwasher, clean all the baking dishes, and get my kitchen put back together. A 
I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. I know this is a little bit of a different format for me, so let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. Also, let me know where you are watching from. I have met so many amazing people through this social media platform, and I'm always amazed at how far people watch from. I've had people from Germany, I've had people here in the United States, Canada, you name it. So leave me a comment below, say hello, and let me know where you're from. As a family of five with three little ones at home most of the time, I find that we constantly have dirty dishes. And the way that I tackle them is by staying on top of it throughout the day. Now this doesn't happen every day, believe me, there are days when I let it pile up, but it seems so much less overwhelming when I have three or four dishes versus an entire sink and counter piled up. While I spray and sanitize my sink, I'm also going to sanitize my sponge. I pop the wet sponge in the microwave for two minutes. This will get rid of any bacteria and it only takes a couple minutes. I wiped down the table with the Method Wood for Good Daily Cleaner. This is my favorite cleaner to use on my wood table. And then I also noticed my little one got to a red crayon. So luckily this tray is super cleanable and it wiped right off. If you have been around, you know that I absolutely love my Simply Earth essential oils. And when I clean my house, it does not feel complete unless I start my diffusers. So I have lemon going in the living room and citrus burst going in the kitchen. Sensation. 
One of the reasons I was cooking a crock pot dinner on this night is that it was a soccer night. Soccer nights for us are super busy and when we get home it is already past dinner time. So I also like to prep any sides that I have to go with it. My favorite way to cook broccoli is drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and that's it. You cook it on 400 degrees for 15, maybe 20 minutes, and you have delicious broccoli. Perfect. Yeah, I know that. All right, let's take a look at this list. My little guy is up from his nap. It's been a little over an hour. So I cleaned off the kitchen table. I prepped the broccoli, got my son's soccer gear. So the only two things left I have are to fold laundry and to vacuum, both which I can do while he is awake. So not too bad. Also, I just want to show you guys, we are well past the peak of foliage here in New England, but look how pretty this yellow tree is. I love it. And I'm so happy that I got to all that. The high chair is all cleaned with that red crayon. Kitchen is all put to back together. And I have dinner ready to go when we get home tonight. That is key takes so much stress off my plate and our bread is done and this smells heavenly when I took the bread out after the initial 55 minutes I could already tell that it needed some more time so the bread actually ended up cooking for about 70 minutes like I said those loaves are pretty big and then it was time to fold laundry with my little helper. One of my least favorite things to do is to fold socks. So let's just pretend it happens that fast. And boy, did I need to clean that table. The last thing I needed to do was to do a quick vacuum. I vacuumed the living room and the kitchen. And after that, my list was complete. I wish you guys could be here to smell this. The one in the glass pan just needs to cook for a couple more minutes, but this one, the crust is crispy. It smells so good. I cannot wait to let this cool and give it a little taste later. All right, I have to go get the kids, but I did fold all the laundry, even the socks, and... <coughs> 
I vacuumed. Today was a good day. My teardrops start to dry. Even when the sun begins to shine again. Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped. Experience has made me real. All right, the bread has cooled down a little bit. So we're gonna take a taste. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Every time I make this, it's like the perfect fall dessert. So I hope you guys will give this one a shot. My plan was to take the chicken out of the crock pot and either shred it or chop it up and the chicken was so tender after cooking in the crock pot all day that it just fell apart it was so delicious so this just needs a good mix to combine everything and then dinner was ready this is not the prettiest looking meal however it is full of flavor and it is definitely comfort food I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you took something away from it, whether it is a recipe or two, some cleaning motivation, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing a glimpse into my real life. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. And if you are new here, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and join this YouTube community. We will see you in the next video.